Hey guys, so I need to take this little break to tell you some things about your light bill. A few weeks ago, I did a Money Mondays JA episode about understanding your light bill and I got a lot of comments and some more questions about it. So since August is one of the hottest months and we're probably going to be using more electricity, I want to use this time to give you a light bulb moment. <laughs> you see what I did there? But first, I want you to run go get your last light bill or bring it up on your email. You can pause this video in the meantime. Okay, now that you're back, look where it says FE adjust on your light bill. It stands for foreign exchange adjustment. You'll notice that this is a percentage that changes every month on this bill. It's 5.623% and I'm going to show you exactly how they calculate this percentage. The foreign exchange adjustment is the difference between what's called a base exchange rate and a billing exchange rate. Now let's talk about these two things. The Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, sets the base exchange rate every four years. The current rate is 128 to 1 US. This number is currently under review as there's a rate review meeting this year. So expect a huge jump because you know where we are now. As of Friday, we're at more than 149 to 1 US. Now, the billing exchange rate is the current market exchange rate at the time of billing. This number changes from month to month. So this is where they make up for the difference since the rate four years ago is unlikely to be the same rate today. Time now for a little math class, but don't worry, teacher K won't make it too hard. Here's how we calculate the foreign exchange adjustment percentage. We start with a simple subtraction. First, subtract the base exchange rate, which I told you was 128. We know that's what it's set at. And now let's say the billing exchange rate for this month is 137.60. I know it's a lot more than that right now, but for argument's sake, let's just use this number. So the difference is $9.60. There you go. Next, we divide that $9.60 by the base exchange rate. Finally, we multiply this by 100 to get the percentage, and that's going to give us 7.5%. This is the foreign exchange adjustment as a percentage, and you can find a similar number on each month's light bill. So if you look on your bill right now, you'll see this 7.5% on your August bill that was just due. This means that you have to pay an extra 7.5% of the subtotal to compensate for where the dollar is today. Now, if the foreign exchange percentage is a positive number, like it is this month, that means that the billing exchange rate for that month is higher than the base exchange rate. But because our currency technically moves two ways now, there may be times when the billing exchange rate is actually lower than the base exchange rate. Don't know if that's ever actually happened, but it is possible. If and when that happens and you run the calculation, you're going to end up with a negative number as the foreign exchange adjustment. So you'll have a negative FE adjust percentage. So let's say the base exchange rate is currently 128, which it is now. If the billing exchange rate for the month is 125, then using the same calculations that we did earlier, we're gonna end up with a negative percentage. This means that the customer will subtract 2.34% off the subtotal from the total amount due and that would bring your light bill down see on this bill they actually deducted 83 dollars and 46 cents so i hope that you understand foreign exchange adjustment a little bit better now comment below and let me know what else you want to know about your light bill stay tuned for more taking stock